Hi there, my name is Susan Iback, and I'm here to share another cool little Visual Studio trick for you. One of the things that we all get into the habits of is certain styles of formatting. Some people, here's one of those great debates amongst the world of programmers. Should you put your open bracket when you declare a method after you declare the parameters or on a new line? I'm not going to try and convince you which way is right or wrong, but I will say there are fervent believers out there who prefer one over the other. We also tend to have preferences of how we like things indented. Well, one of the neat things you can do is if you go up to your quick launch bar and you type the word format, you'll see there's options inside the text editor for formatting that you can set for Visual Studio. One of the options you can choose is for new lines under formatting, whether you want the open brace on a new line for methods, and you can see how that appears below, so you get the open brace after your method declaration, or if you prefer, you can say, hey, I'd like to keep the open brace after the parameter declaration. Your choice. So if you prefer to have it at the beginning of a line, just specify it there. You can even control things like your indentation. Do you like your code indented within a method? Or do you prefer to have it in line with the braces? You can also control things like spacing. Do you like spaces around your conditions inside your if statements? Choose yes or no. I'm going to decide I like spaces around my parentheses and I'm going to ask for my open brace to come right after the method declaration. When I click OK, the code I've already written, uh, you'll notice it didn't fix the code I've already written, but what happens now is if I declare any new methods, it's automatically going to follow that predefined syntax. If I want to change my existing code, just use the key but keyboard shortcut Control K D. And you'll notice it automatically reformats my code in the current window to follow the rules I set in the tools options. Now, if you want to get really fancy, if you install the productivity power tools, there's actually an op option inside there called format on save. And what that allows you to do, if I say format, uh, here we go, power commands general. One of the things I can specify is that format document on save and that will set all the settings I've set up in my option preferences automatically whenever I save my document so I don't have to remember when to go back and change it. So that way everything's formatted just the way I like it. So that's your tip for today. Go to your quick launch bar, type in format, change the formatting options in Visual Studio to be the way you like them. And then either use Control KD to reformat any documents the way you like them or install the Productivity Power Tools add-on and set Format Document on Save. Have a good day!